is finally here. Friday football season. Last week was just the kickoff classic. This time around, it's for real. We've got all the action for you. And we begin with our game of the week. One of the oldest rivalries in town, Sarasota, visiting Booker to open the season. How about that? First quarter, no score. Hunter DeWitt throws the screen to Mac Dancer, one of the best football names in our area. He's got some game, too. 50-yard opening strike seven. Zip Stale, uh, Sailors coming out with the early lead. Still in the first. Scary play here. Madison Dubill gets the ball on the little screen. He gets crushed by Cyqual Chiefs. Look again. Might have been knocked out cold, but he would walk off under his own power later, which is good news. Second quarter, Booker still scoreless. Alex Riddle fires, but he's picked off by Marcus Riley. Booker just kind of looked out of rhythm on offense all night long. Tornadoes try again on offense. Riddle picked off again. This time a great play by Jonathan Berman tracking the ball and he follows it in all the way. Sailors get the ball back and they go to work. Witt finds Corey Williams who slices and dices and shakes and shimmies his way upfield with a burst of speed at the end and that's a 60 yard gain before he's dragged down. That's set up this. A DeWitt sneak right up the middle. He's a big kid, puts Sarasota up 17 to zero at that point. Booker though made a game out of it, scored twice, but the Sailors hung on to win 17 to 12. SNN Local News 6 sports reporter Calvin McClure was at Booker tonight and he saw this one in person. Calvin, talk to me about the game of the week. Well, Adam, it was everything we thought it would be, a rivalry down to the end. Booker tried their best to fight back, but they just couldn't get it done. I'm joined now with head coach Fred Gilmore of the Booker Tornadoes. Coach, you guys uh, fought hard, uh, just weren't able to get it done. What were some of the things that went wrong tonight? Well, turnovers. Um, we got to do a better job of uh, handling the football, protecting the football. Um, we'll be fine. Five turnovers early, um, fought back and made a ball game. And there's no such thing as moral victories, but the kids played extremely hard. What are some of the things you're going to have to do to go back into uh, into, into practice and, and, uh, and, and correct to get ready for next week? Just have patience. Um, we're working in progress. We're going to get better. We're asking a lot of people to do some things they haven't had to do in the past. We just got to keep coaching them hard, and uh, the kids are going to respond. All right, that's Fred Gilmore from the Booker Tornadoes. Game of the week, Adam, back to you. All right, Calvin, thanks a lot. Let's move on, keep these highlights rolling. Huge early season matchup. Riverview, though, would respond. Tater Williams releases a pass just before he gets leveled. Finds big athletic Jeremy Jones. Jones would not be caught. 63-yard touchdown. We're tied at seven. Palmetto ball on the next possession. Trent Miller floats one. It's picked off by Marquise Newell. Palmetto led it 14-3 at the break, and then the Tigers just roared out to a 34-6 win. Wow. Anyone question whether Palmetto is for real anymore? That is an impressive win. How about Charlotte? Taking on local rival Northport. This is a 51-yard field goal by kicker Austin Taylor. 51 yards. Tarpons 13-0 at the break. Second half here, Northport punt. Tarpons Dwight Reynolds catches the ball and goes all across the field. Up the sidelines, bursting up the left. That's a score. Punt return, touchdown. Tarpon's cruising 20 to zero. Charlotte gets the ball back, drives hard with some running plays. Ground and pound, and then Reynolds hands off to the big fullback, Davion Stewart. That's a touchdown. Tarpon's a little trouble early on, but they cruise to a 27 to three win. I'll call a quick timeout, but don't worry, there's plenty more high school football coming your way. I've still got to show you how nationally ranked Manatee did in Maryland. That one went to some extra football, plus Lakewood Ranch, Braden River, ODA, Cardinal Mooney, much, much more. Stick around. More Friday football fever coming up.